Morning. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> okay. Hey, let me ask you something. When they when they make an announcement that there's like uh, the the fry thing that they had like yesterday. Yeah. I mean, are we supposed to go to like the side door where it says faculty or? Yeah. All right. And I think it opens ten thirty. Oh, see, I didn't go in there, but most people think I am fac faculty oh, here. It's just the old sign. It's the same. <laughs> That's all it is. They asked for the sign to be replaced. I didn't, be I didn't go in yesterday, but most of the people, I think they're looking at me and they say, yeah, that must be the, the new Ebonics teacher. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If the door's to... propped open, then you can then go right in. Yeah, man, because I was, uh, that, that thing was like staying in my mind when they made that announcement in the morning. Oh, yeah, I said, I can't happen. wait until that. I said, that, that just sounds tremendous, you know? Oh, I mean, I know. I know it must be like a thousand calories, but I don't care. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'll work it out somehow, you yeah, know. Exactly. <laughs> Go move a car later on or something, you know. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Good morning, everybody. Uh, today, I was thinking about, uh, and I was reading it up. You're going to look it up on uh, Hebrews 12 or Hebrews 14. Forgive me for not looking it up, but... Uh, it's, it was talking about the chastisement of the Lord, the chastisement of the Lord. And uh, then I was watching early this morning. I love 70s shows. I think 70s shows are one of the best things that you could ever see. You want to know what my generation thought and what we like? See a good 70s show. You see uh, Sanford and Son. See Different Strokes. Uh, there's a lot of great shows. But those two stick out in my mind, first of all, because uh, Sanford and Son was perhaps one of the funniest racist shows i ever seen in my life. Because, I mean, we know that, you know, Sanford was, you know, uh, Fred Sanford, played by Red Fox, is probably one of the funniest, but also one of the racist guys. If you ever, I mean, he uses the N-word all the time there, you know, but it was really, really a funny show. And also... Uh, different strokes had a lot of lessons about race in there so I thought it was like I thought it was like you know really really funny this morning I was watching the episode I don't know what it is five or six first season let me take a Marco Rubio break here and uh, well the uh, it was a it was a thing where Arnold threw a water bag, a water bomb, whatever. We used to call it a water balloon. We always used to do it balloons, fill it up with water, and throw it at people. But in that show, I guess, uh, I don't know, he used a, a, like, a, like a gallon sandwich bag or something and filled it up with water and shot it and hit the maintenance guy. So uh, anyway, uh, uh, the father who was played by Mr. Well, who was Mr. Drummond in the show, he said, you need a spanking, you know. And I thought, how different is that? You know, how very different is that from what's happening now, you know? And the thing was that Mr. Drummond didn't do the, 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 the spanking. Who did the spanking was the older brother. See, because he said, we don't, our father and our mother died. And he says, it's only right that a, that a relative should, should do the spanking, you know. I said, this is blowing my mind, you know. So anyway, uh, Willis uh, was the one who gave him the spanking, you know. And I thought, you know, wow, that's really something. And God was, I felt like God was telling me, see, that's what the whole chastisement is. You know? The chastisement is because you're you're a legitimate child, and I want you to clean your act up, get ready to do what I wanted you to do. You know, so that's uh, that's what I was thinking about this morning. And I was also trying to write a song. You know, they have this Spanish song that says, uh, it's, a, it's a, like a good morning song, you know. And it goes like this. Por la mañana las aves cantan sus alabanzas a Cristo el Salvador y tu amigo Porque no canta las alabanzas a Cristo el Salvador. Demos gracias al Señor, demos gracias, demos gracias por su amor. 
Demos gracias, Paz, Señor. Demos gracias. Demos gracias por su amor. Por la mañana las aves cantan, las alabanzas a Cristo el Salvador. Y tú, mi hermano, ¿por qué no canta las alabanzas a Cristo el Salvador? Give thanks unto the Lord, let us praise Him, let us worship Christ the Lord. Give thanks and give, oh, something like that, I don't know, I gotta work it out, you know. But uh, I'm just trying to wing it, you know, I kind of had it a little bit in the car, I gotta look at the previous video, I was doing it in the car. But anyway, this is uh, Thursday, Thursday, uh I also have a, uh, I got school, and then I got to go to a concert, you know, it's going to be really great, the uh, Torrin Wells is going to be there, and a couple of other artists that I can't name right now, but I was looking at their videos on uh, on YouTube, so it's going to be a fantastic time of praise, and in a place that's made for praise, it's in uh, uh, what Bell Shoals Baptist Church, which is a humongous church. And Brandon, and uh, it's uh, it's really great, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, we could we could end the day off with a good uh, with a good meal at IHOP afterwards, which uh, I want to make it like a uh, how do you say a, a tradition, you know, where we go and you know we uh, we go to Christian concerts and. We end up at a high hat, even if we gotta go travel. I think it would, I think it would be a good thing to go and travel and see a, a Toby Mac concert or something like that, you know. And uh, well, you know, somebody actually, I guess somebody actually liked my voice, and they were inviting me to go to Nashville. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go. Maybe, I, maybe I can go in December, I guess, or something like that. And, you know, that's probably the best, the best way to do it. When I got all them days off, I don't know. Let's see what God allows. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, I'll, I'll step into that blessing. You know, maybe, maybe my time of chastening is over with. You know, and now it's time for blessing. You know. Okay. Well, God bless everybody. Have yourself a great day. Bye.